This tutorial will show you how to animate a clip layer on your timeline. In this example, we're going to animate a pterosaur to fly across the screen from one side to the other. I already have my still background image on the timeline here. You can use a still or animated background for this. Now, I'm going to layer my pterosaur on top of the background, but it's important to note that the image that, I, that I'm using and that you must use must be a PNG image, which means that it has a transparent or no background. I know it looks black, but it's transparent. You could also do this with an image that has a green background, so think green screen, and then remove the green background on it like you would any other green screen video clip. But um, this is a PNG, so even though it appears to have a black background, it's actually just transparent. So pull it down onto the timeline on top of your background, and you can see what I mean. So it's, it's now um, a transparent background. You can see the ter pterosaur here. So to animate the pterosaur, you're going to double click on the clip to go into the effects editor. Um, but you're going to go to the Pan and Zoom tab, and since I need my pterosaur to go to the right so that it flies from the left side of the screen to the right side, you can just go over here and select Preset and choose a Pan Right option, um, and you can preview that by clicking here. However, um, you'll notice in the preview that the pterosaur doesn't completely go off the screen, so I do need to move the red box over so that it goes completely off screen, so I'm going to drag it over like this until I make the pterosaur completely disappear off of the screen. So that's pretty good right there. Okay, and then I'll preview that really quickly. So there it goes, and there it goes. Okay, so then I'm going to say OK, and let that process, and then I'll click play and show you what that looks like. So there, there it goes. Um, you can combine this technique with green screen by layering um, a green screen on top of this and having these animations go underneath your actors um, on a green screen. If I were to take this clip right here and put it on the timeline on top of my animated pterosaur flying across the street and remove the green background and obviously crop out backgrounds there, it would make my actor seem like he was standing on the street with a pterosaur flying across the scene behind him. Um, notice that I don't have a spot on the timeline to put something above it and you can add to that by clicking a little plus here and that'll add another space here for me to pull this clip on top. That's all there is to it.